Hello everyone. I didn't know I would be reconnecting with you, but I'm being guided to. I want to start off by saying that I rebuke all unwelcomed spam by way of communication in whatever effort that it is being sent. Whether it is your phone calls, whether it is your text messages, whether it is your emails, whether it is your stalking, whether you go the avenue of telepathic communication. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Now, this is going to be very brief because I wanted to get it done before July 4th for a reason. Don't worry about it. I have my reasons. I'm going to be naming, well, the title, I should say. <laughs> the title of today's, of this episode. The title of this episode is going to be No Negotiation. I shared with you in Proverbs 23 earlier today that there is necessity for discipline. You must discipline in order to teach in order for those that have lessons to learn to learn although there are many times I regret crossing paths with 99% of those of you that were sent to kill me The reason why we did cross paths is because there was a lesson for me to learn. That although I had a big heart and I wanted to share with the world that the whole world didn't deserve my heart. That I'm rare, that I'm special, that I'm different, and that only those that are worthy deserve my energy. Okay. Lesson taught lesson learned. That was my season of being a student. Now this is my lesson of being a teacher and I do it professionally. I do it ethically. I do it following both the guidelines and the curriculum. Okay? Again, today's title is No Negotiations. So I am respectfully I am respectfully guiding you to reserve your energy for your healing activities. I'm having a vision of the color purple and I believe that is because since I was a child I always 
I love the messages I just received and I'm about to share them with you in a minute no hurry so I feel my art teacher really cared for me really loved me because when we were done with art class she always picked me and others of her favorite students to stay after class which I enjoyed <laughs> I enjoyed because I got to stay after class and we got to straighten out the class and then I went to reading, math, science. <laughs> so I really didn't mind. I'll never forget that lady. And I remember one of the lessons she taught me is about primary color. And what color that you use to make other colors. And so when it came to purple, she taught me you use red and blue. Red and blue makes purple. So the color purple, the vision I just had, is when Seely said, until you do right by me, I see her fingers, her two fingers, when she was pointing at Mr. who refused for her to leave. Why? He wasn't attracted to her. He mistreated her. He hated her. He abused her. He disrespected her. And when she finally had enough and she had the opportunity to leave, he had the audacity to stretch his arms and try to get her to stay because he was in need. He was in old age. He wasn't the somebody that he thought he would always be. Until you do right by me. She said that with authority. She said that because God saw she deserved to be free. She said that because it was her right. She was not born to be sacrificed. Although her family mistreated her and she endured many hardships in life. She gifted herself with freedom for the remainder of her life. And she got to be in her power and her strength. This lady went through so much humiliation. She was used to serve his mistress. 
he allowed his mistress to belittle her, to degrade her. His mistress never put as much effort as she did in the relationship. Never took care of his family like she did. Raised his children, gave them an education to the best of her capability. For many years, confirmation. But he was never grateful. And he thought, I bought you. So I don't owe you. And that's the same way that those that conduct business and sex trafficking and chattel slavery feel about it. They feel like, well, I paid the death mistress even though she doesn't know you, she doesn't know you. <laughs> but I did a transaction. This is why I treat you like a slave. This is why I don't care about your feelings. This is why it, this ain't about love. What you talking about? I'll grow to love you as a servant, maybe. But, um... It's about what you could do for me. Who cares about your feelings? What your feelings got to do about it? You know who I am? I'm Mr. Big Stepper. The Don. But he forgot to add the Donkey Kong. Right? Again, the title of this mini segment is No Negotiation. I said no. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. I made it clear already what God, what God decreed. My father said, Everything that was taken from me will be returned to me. And to be quite honest with you, I think a lot of you are brave. <laughs> Braver than what I would be in your shoes. See, I care about my family. I care about my friends. I care about my business. I care about my health. I care about my finances. I care about my home. And given the fact, last card is coffin. Given the fact that um, you committed those acts by way of spell work, you are open targets with no protection. Doesn't matter how many spiritual baths you take, how much money you go pay, how much prayer that you say, you are officially open target, spiritually speaking, of course. But everything that happens spiritually manifests, okay, physically, okay? I do know that some of you are hiding the deaths that are happening because you are concerned if other people are aware of what's really going down they're going to go in panic attack and they're going to come for you 
I understand. Because once you put me in danger, my family in danger, my livelihood in danger, my home in danger, oh, it's a problem. You understand? It's a problem, especially when you tricked me, when you played with me. So this is how it goes. The energy you was in is the energy I'm called to mirror. So, when we're talking about, but she not fair because why can't we have a round table? Why can't we talk about, I got an answer because there was no round table that invited me when I was put for sacrifice. Let that sink in. Breathe. I know it's hard to breathe, but it's 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 your responsibility to breathe. Okay? I can't breathe for you too. There was no empathy when you went on social media and said I had the deadliest of STDs. There was no empathy when you said I was committing adultery. There was no empathy when you said I committed not even the fact that you said I committed one abortion, but you said I committed several abortions when I've had one pregnancy in my entire existence. You stole And you called me a thief. You did witchcraft. And you said I did it. You attacked my son. And you attacked a multitude of family members. You isolated me. I had to walk away from my job because my address was given out. Because you were monitoring me. And killers and kidnappers had access to all my privacy. You did a home invasion. You did divination work on me. And shared lies. The divination work that you was doing was in relation to your life. What people don't know, when you do the work of divination, you can read the energy of the collective that you're reading for or for the individual that you're reading for. You can also be reading for yourself. So if you're not in your right senses, you could really get played on these streets okay and then there are higher vibrational readers and lower vibrational readers the higher vibrational readers get their information from God the lower vibrational readers get their information from a chain of command that is lower in degree, lower in rank, and later in receiving. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You poisoned me on Mother's Day. You caused me to get in a car accident. You messed with my money all throughout my marriage. Thank goodness you also made him impotent. So I was not as exposed as I could have been due to your STDs. The sharing of your nasty 
STDs. You ruined my reputation. There are people that you lied to about me that I know have died. They've died in the belief that your lies were the truth. Okay? You taken my name to the grave, offered it to spirits, and thank goodness the spirit says no. Say wonderfully. How did I know that? When I woke up from my sleep, I said that spirit's names three times. He made an announcement. It was me they came to. That's how I know. And that's how I rejected it. Not that I had to. Because whether you go to a lower entity or not, when it comes to justice, if the person has clean hands, they are in their soul's purpose. And the mistake that a lot of you made as well when you go to that person's how should I put this in words? When you go mess with that person's culture, how about that? You learn. You learn the hard way. A lot was revealed to me that I'm not even sharing. But the fact that my inheritance was stolen from me and we're in 2024 now. <laughs> we're in 2024 now. You forge my, my you forge my name spiritually. And you forge my name legally. Illegally. Because that would be the right description. You purchase businesses on my name, vehicles on my name. You use my name in fraudulent activities. You sold my information online. You wrote a book to my the suffering that I endured at my expense. I didn't profit on anything. You sent a gift that sh that was on clearance. To my home. That's what you did. You sent a gift that you got on clearance to my home. That's what the Judas was. You cleared yourself of him. All right. You got tired of it. Go over there. Go mess up somebody else's life. Let me tell you something again. No negotiation. I remain in that same energy. It doesn't matter how many, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter, but I got a family. It doesn't matter, but I'm old in age. It doesn't matter, but I lost my job. You know why? I lost my job. I'm not a youngin'. It affected my health. 
You use my name, you forge emails, you text messages, you said I was a prostitute, you said I was a porn star. People, I don't give a Feel that in vibration. Because that's, that's what I am on right now. Alright? Ain't no time to talk about nothing right now. I made it clear when I told you that you would go to jail. And so since I'm receiving a lot of telepathic communication but I don't know what to do I don't know I'm stuck I... first of all you're not paying me for my time that's number one you never could afford me that's number two you don't have eligibility that's number three okay Cause as nice as you thought I was, I was never the one, the two, or the three. And that's where he was grave in mistake. Because he already knew. I am not the one. I was never fake in front of you. Okay? That's why you kept your mouth in check in front of me. All this garbage you said behind my back, you never said it in my face. Because you know what's up. You just hurt because you could not hear the truth. You went out there on the streets, oh, she's in poverty. She's of a lower class. She's just a Haitian. But you didn't tell them when I met you. You lied. You said you had a business. And when I uncovered the truth, you was laying on the floor with dead roaches. And I gave you a mattress to lay on your back. You didn't tell them that. You didn't tell them about the time that you was hungry. And I had to call an Uber to send to your house to give you something to eat. You didn't tell them about that. You didn't tell them that after taking you to several jobs to fill out an application you didn't even get an opportunity even after I crafted a resume for you that would give you at least another look everyone said no I went out of my pocket and I went and I bought tools for you. For you. I guess those firecrackers are kind of for me. I went and I bought tools for you. To start a business that I never got a red cent from. When you left my home because you could not contribute. I gave you an allowance not only to cover your phone, I gave you an allowance to buy toothpaste, to go to the barber shop, to buy food. I went to the laundry with your clothes. I washed your clothes for you. If you needed to go to the doctor, I picked you up, I drove you there, I brought you to the pharmacy, I brought you back home, and I drove back home. 
all of that was energy, was effort. When you were caught up and uncovered for being a liar, you put me on speaker. You laughed at me in front of all of your friends who today are your enemies. I don't give a damn what happens to you. And you know what God told me to? In order for me to complete my task, he allowed you to do what you did. You know why? Get ready for this. Because I could never do that to you unless you did it to me. So you made my job easy. That's all. Because I was tasked to teach you your lessons and move on. I am so caring at heart that unless you stabbed me on the back with the Ten of Swords over and 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 over ten plus times unless you did that I wouldn't be able to do it but you gave me the scissors so I used them hear them remember you taught me how to put my thumb in the smaller hole and the rest of my fingers in the bigger hole there it goes you gave me the scissors you even taught me how to use them ain't that something I will forever remember how to use them I'm not tired yet. I'm going to keep going. A lot of you are in danger. What I'm seeing in my dreams, what I'm seeing in my visions, I see people coming to me on their knees with both of their wrists together in agony. Guess what? The only one who can help is you. You have to help yourself. You have to release what you stole. You have to pay it back. I told you, Psalm 23. God would prepare a table before my enemies. And because your truth and identity are the peasants that you are, you are to prepare the table. That's how the cookie crumble. This is what the funds are for. In my presence, I heard you speaking to your son in Baltimore teaching him that he's supposed to two time. Oh, you're not supposed to have one girlfriend. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to be faithful. She doesn't need to know your business. And I'm sitting there observing you like Wow. And I questioned you at the end of the conversation. Why would you be telling him to behave in that manner? That's what my father taught me 
Too bad you couldn't be the generational curse breaker. Because that's what your father taught you. And so now it's on his back. Question is, you've been programming him for a while. And what I foresee, you're not going to hear from me. Because my journey with you is complete. Even after you abused me and I moved on with my life. Even after the adultery, I didn't ask you a question. I didn't ask you to come home. I didn't ask you who it was. I didn't ask you why. I didn't ask you a damn. You know why? You were a liability anyway. Who cares? I prayed for you to leave. I told God, I'm tired. You're going to have to help me get out of this. I'm tired, God. And God made a way. That's why I never called you. That's why I never looked for you. That's why I never competed for you. You were the worst relationship I have ever had. There's no one worse than you. No one, and fortunately, no one that ever will be. I moved on quietly, didn't ask no questions, even after you laughed at me and said, I will give you nothing. All those monies I invested for you to go see lawyers after you lied and said you had your papers and I uncovered you didn't. And as a way of investment, I said, okay, I'll help him with the lawyer so he could get a job because he needed to support himself. I wasn't desperate for a man. Are you kidding me? I've been in relationships where I was told straight up, you work if you want. You don't have to. Actually, I would prefer that you don't. Desperate for what? Just because you didn't see my value doesn't mean that the men of value didn't see my value. I know I settled with you. But the men of value, the educated ones... The legal ones, the upstanding ones, the ones I left behind when I felt they wasted my time, you will never be in their league. So to say I was desperate for you, get off the crack. The only one who could be desperate for you is the one who got caught up with you. Now she's facing jail time too. Bravo! You so smart. <laughs> and special. <laughs> but you're not kind. House, child, bouquet, night. So the night wants to offer a bouquet because he wants access to the house. In fact, can we make peace when we live in polygamy? You see, I have a child, you see? And we can't be homeless. That's my desire. 
think. Could you think about it? Two words. No negotiation. Mice. Thieves. Fox. Sneaky. Anchor. So the mouse, the mice, and the fox need an anchor. They need stability. Why? Because it was prophesied in 2021 that they would lose all their fortune on doing black magic on me. Now, those new people that are re you're recruiting, did you tell them that too? That the reason why you broke as a joke is because you stole all the money I was supporting you with. Money I've inherited. All right. And you gave it to your whore, your house of horrors. Your whores that belong to your house of horrors. Money that belongs to me, you was doing black magic on me with. I don't give a damn. All right. Force underground blocking me for me not to get a job, for not be able to, for me not to be able to start a business, for me to not be known. Even though I've been making efforts since 2000. Child, before I met you, I've been making effort. I've had a social media life even before we crossed paths. I've always been in that same energy of healing. All of that. Every time I get ahead, you bring me down. You shadow ban. You lie on me. She's not worthy. I lived with her. You can't trust her. She's this. She's that. Forced underground. Betrayal. Why? Because that's how you maintain your sustainability. You took what was mine. With your black magic. You took what was mine. With every moon cycle. And you gave it to you. And your whores. And your house of horrors. In your house of horrors. Healing heart. Stars. Now you're chasing. Abuser. Elderly don't talk. Etheric chords. Exploration. Scissors. Cutting them cords. Loud and clear. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Snap. 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 Forever and ever and ever. Power reverse. Clouds. Animal care. So, my towers are no more. The only towers I have now are good towers. All right? Now, you're experiencing cloud. Many of you are experiencing clouds because I flew away. Now you're concerned. Who's going to care for us? We need animal care because we're bestial. We do not know how to treat human beings. That's not my problem because the next card says liberation. Okay. Symbiosis. Interesting. Symbiosis. 
is a relationship or interaction between two different organisms that share similar habitats. Symbiosis can be of three types depending on how the organisms benefit or harm each other. Mutualism, both organisms benefit from the relationship. Commensalism, one organism benefits and the other is unaffected. Parasitism, one organism benefits and the other is harmed. Guess where you fit? You and all the beggars from your crew. You are parasites. That's what you are. Parasites are those that expect to benefit from others' fortunes. You are a parasite until you know all of who you are. You cannot make any progress in the right direction. So if you thought your name was Grace when you looked in the mirror, I'm here to tell you your name is Parasite. The truth is what will set you free on this 4th of July. Mountain. The mountain is you can no longer be a parasite. Bear. I'm protected. Cross. Yours to bear. <laughs> Kept in the dark. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Sacred lust. Let's do sex magic on her. Strength. So we can get strength. As a matter of fact, this is the opportunity I'm going to take to say. Whoever utilizes my pictures to do sex magic or engages in orgies to do sex magic or tries to dream me, whether it is by dream magic or any push or pull, will be cursed. The next time you call my energy in and disrespect me, my energy, in that manner, the curses that you have now, you haven't seen nothing yet because those curses will invest in your reproductive organs. Barrenness will follow your future generations. Since you do not know what those organs were made of and what they are for and the power they hold and the respect that they are due. It's easy for me to say one, two. Because you were so smart to send barrenness to me. So I get to send it back with no karma. In fact, I get to protect myself. And the curses that you sent to my reproductive system. I know you attempted to affect my fertility. I know it's because 
You believe in if I'm in another relationship, that will interfere with you draining me. You've also affected, made plenty of attempts to affect my desire to make me cold, to interrupt with my relationships. Yeah, I know all of that, Judas. You couldn't treat me right, but when I moved on, you tried to interfere with that as well. Oh, you need my help? You need me to help you to get you back on your feet so you could finish me? Those of you that are disgusting to the point where it's affecting other areas of your life too. That's an addiction and that is a vice and that's why you remain in low vibration. I know you were taught by Judas to do sex magic on me. Someone that was sent to help him spiritually and to help him break a generational curse. And that's how he received me. My question is do you want to live? In all sincerity. Remember you already sent death spells my way, right? You remember a back to sender is all it takes, right? Those who attempt to affect my family because you know you can't drain me and you've made efforts to be pedophiles. You are disgusting, Judas. Oh, gonna throw up. I don't see you. Anything that's moving, right? I don't know how people think you're human. You or organ. She knows who she is. Or monkey see who monkey do. Guess what? My spirit. <laughs> My spirit guides are a trip. Because when I thought of monkey see monkeys do. Real name. I heard. We are living. Single. Perfect name. <laughs> oh, wow. How the dots are connected. Who's living single? What's her name? As a matter of fact, when I got off of this track, um, I did some further investigation regarding the names of what I read. In connection to SWV. Because I also mentioned Charlie Wilson from the last episode. And Charlie means free man. That's what Charlie means. Y'all not ready for Wilson though. Y'all not ready for Wilson. Char 
Charlie means free man. Wilson means son of will. You get it now? I know you said I was dumb and stupid. But I'm pretty good at decoding. Charlie. Free man. Free from you. And all your flying monkeys too. But I am still. Son of Will. What's funny about all of this is you're broke. That's what's funny about it. Because you tried to make me broke for the rest of my existence. For nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, we just feel like you. Just don't like her because she doesn't want us to step on her and spit on her and whip her and call her out her name and disrespect her and abuse her and sexually assault her. Okay. We're going to eliminate you. Okay. You're eliminated because I'm a free man. And I'm son of will. Look it up yourself. Don't take my word for it. This is why you can't trick me. Because I see what you don't see. The sun card. Son of will. <laughs> Crossroads. You tried to kill me. And who you went to told me. Coffin brought my name in the coffin, gave him the coffin. No, say Wumwevli Air Force. I fly with my ninjas, <laughs> I fly for my ninjas. Angelic team is me. To know my angels is to know no fear. You don't get it yet? My angels be like, I wish he would. I've been trying to tell you. So I be like, I wish they would. That's how I be like. Because I said it's going to be done in your face. I told y'all that it's going to be done on a public platform so others can take notes because they like to write books. Maybe they could profit on those books because they're looking for a job. Because everybody who was in association with you is now cursed. Do to you leading them astray. They are all marked. They are marked. Their family is marked. Their friends. Their acquaintances are marked. You ruin their lives. And you see the justice in that? Is they tried to help you ruin my life. So it's just. You tried to ruin my life for nothing. I don't even know you. But you did it to yourself. So that's justice. Brazen. Clarify. Who's shining? Oh, you thought it was going to be you? Oh, yeah. If you contribute, you can have 
this gift. She has this gift too. I'll give you that part of her. And you could have that part of her. And you could have that part. Because you know we're cannibalists over here. No manje moon se lugao no ye. Right? You eat people. The cannibals you are. Right? Right, Charlie Wilson? Free man. Son of will. I'm hearing the clock tick, tick, tick. So the next phone call you get. Don't say it wasn't prophesied. Happy Independence Day.